I want to start with a new earthquake from overnight and then I want to show you when Alvin could form in the Eastern Pacific and the spot on the Caribbean. We're now watching for some signs of development. So a lot to cover as we get into the hurricane season. So again, thank you for taking the time to subscribe and being part of this uh, weather community as we, we dive into a lot of action ahead. Let me start with this earthquake. This happened uh, last night or very early in this morning, right around, uh, I think it was right before three o'clock. Thank you for leaving the comments. Uh, and Agata, just to the north. So just to the north of the British Virgin Islands. This was uh, rather significant, a solid earthquake. Haven't had any reports of damage, but 5.6 in magnitude, and it wasn't too far down underground. We're looking at 19 kilometers down or 12 miles down. So closer to the surface, uh, a lot of us did feel it. Now, many of us may have slept through it, but with that uh, 5.6 in magnitude, it may have also uh, woken us up in some spots. Now, it's raining this morning, but I do want to touch on also some of the uh, developments. So we have lots to cover. So thank you for your patience in this uh, video. We've been watching out for some of that rain moving in parts of the Eastern Caribbean, Grenada, Trinidad. We've had some overnight. Florida, Northern Bahamas, where it has been so dry. We've had some rain uh, earlier this morning and overnight and watching out for the rain building, even parts of Nicaragua down through Costa Rica. So new spots getting rain as we transition for many of us, for most of us rather, into the wet season. But some spots, yeah, we're still too dry. We're, we're getting there. But there's that moisture surge. We do have a little spin in the Atlantic. I'll show you that in a second. That is helping to draw on some of that rain near St. Vincent of the Grenadines and Grenada, watching out for the potential again of flooding uh, over toward the Dominican Republic, back through Puerto Rico again. So let me start short term and then go long term. And I want to show you where the first uh, tropical storm or hurricane could develop in the Eastern Pacific, when it could form. We'll do that in a second. So we're watching the Western Caribbean long term in particular, and then back toward the Eastern Pacific for the potential of new development. Now, short term, let's go over the next couple of days, watching out for some areas of rain near Trinidad, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, still some thunderstorms, scattered showers for us in Jamaica, and then watching out for the rain, Costa Rica and Panama. In the next few days, generally the same thing. So if you have some had some rain, we need to watch out for some additional rain in spots. This is tomorrow, and that could lead to some flooding and some mudslides over toward the DR, for example, watching Haiti and Puerto Rico. Same thing as we work our way into uh, Tuesday. You see these areas of rain around and even over toward uh, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, we could see some rain. Now, hang with me as we jump ahead here. Let's go out in time here. So I want to show you when we could start to see some signs of tropical development. So this is May 13th. Uh, so we're over a week from now and you see here the buildup of rain. I do believe almost all of the models are showing that and this is a uh, common for for this time of year near Central America and the Western Caribbean. So this is a spot I'm watching for more action in the Caribbean as we go forward. Let's go out on time here even more so. No signs of development yet. Again, May th uh, for, uh, 13th. And then as we go forward a couple more days. So this is about a week and a half from now. May 15th. We still see a lot of rain here. Now what happens is usually one side takes over Pacific versus the Caribbean. It looks like it'll be a little bit more dominant on the Pacific side. That's because water temperatures are a little warmer. The hurricane season starts May 15th on the Pacific side for good reason. Things get going sooner. So this is May 16th. You see the rain and let's go out in time here. And then by the time we hit May 18th. So we get into the middle of the May, May and I've been talking about this. This is May 19th. Uh, I've been highlighting this the last few days. You could see here the American model wants to develop a tropical storm or a hurricane, the first one of the season on the eastern Pacific side. Meanwhile, in the Caribbean, a lot of rain. Now, it may either scoop more to the west or kind of drift its way up toward Jamaica, Cuba, and Haiti. This part doesn't seem to be super organized, but I'm going to monitor it because water temperatures are warm enough for some development in the Caribbean, even this time of year. So just kind of keeping an eye on this in the Caribbean. And then a lot of the models latching onto the idea of at least some sort of, maybe not a hurricane, 
uh, could be, uh, but some sort of development by the middle of the month as we work our way into the eastern Pacific side, and it could be the first name system of the season. Now, just kind of breaking this down a little bit more so, this is that model. This is the American model in the middle of May, same time frame, and it is showing uh, the potential of a hurricane in the eastern Pacific. Now, the American model uh, sometimes likes to spin things up a little bit more so than what actually happens as we get down the road. And on this channel, I don't just look at the models. I use all the uh, science, all uh, my background uh, with this, but it does give us an idea that there could be development here. And then you see this little area of low pressure here in the middle of the month in the Western Caribbean. And this is what may kind of drift its way to the north. We'll see if it wants to develop. I'll be highlighting this in additional videos. Now here's the European model, and this picks out potential uh, development. It's saying by the middle of May, same time frame, right? You see this yellow shading in here, south of Jamaica, closer to Costa Rica and Panama. It's saying, hey, there's about a 30 to 40% chance of some development uh, in the Western uh, Caribbean. While on the uh, Eastern Pacific side, it's saying we're up to about a 60% chance of development. That's where there's that potential of a tropical storm or hurricane developing in the eastern Pacific. Does it kind of move out? Does it lift into the north, say over toward Mexico? That's a wait and see. We need to see if it actually does even uh, develop, if something actually develops there. But there is going to be a lot of rain building in the area, and that'll be the first thing I'll be watching. Now, the hurricane season starts June 1st on the uh, in the Atlantic Basin. Uh, with that, every other year, there's usually a name system out there. So I do keep an eye on things in the Gulf Caribbean and Atlantic for development. Uh, but then, of course, things really ramp up as we work our way into summertime. So Gulf Caribbean Atlantic, this is the set of names. I want to show you uh, the different set in just a second. Andrea is the first name on the list, and there's no signs of that, right? There's no signs of that happening now. Barry and then Chanton, we go down the list. Jerry, Karen, Lorenzo, Melissa. Now, as we work our way into the Eastern Pacific, where there are signs of uh, development, the first name on the list is Alvin. So if something develops in the Eastern Pacific later this month, the first name on the list is Alvin. So if you hear of an A name, you hear Alvin popping up, uh, be mindful that that's not on the Atlantic Basin side, that's on the Eastern Pacific. I will break it all down for you as we go forward. Now, watching out for some rain in some other spots, and we need it in the Bahamas. The rain chance isn't super high, but we've had some rain. Florida into the Northern Bahamas today, East Coast of the U.S., watching out for some rain. We have some leftover showers, parts of the Atlantic region to Canada. Here's still that spin. This I mentioned earlier in this video, the spin in the Atlantic, not tropical nature, helping to draw in some more moisture in the Caribbean. That'll be out there for a couple days, mainly south of Bermuda. Then as we go forward into uh, Tuesday, you see just south of uh, Bermuda, some rain in New England, and then watching out for a severe weather threat building near Texas and Oklahoma. As we get into the week ahead, this will kind of be that active spot as we uh, work our way into the uh, week ahead. Now, as far as the seas go, I want to show you this and then go island by island with the rain totals. This is meters. There's feet on the right hand side of your screen. Everything behaving with that front moving off the east coast of the U.S. That's where the seas are a little bit choppier. And again, near Bermuda, that's because of that spin that I just showed you. And then over toward the Bay of Campeche, lifting up through the western Gulf, seas will build somewhat as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. Nothing too aggressive. Uh, with those waters, which is good. Now, the rain, a concern. Of course, we have some of the rain, scattered showers and storms, Florida, uh, back through the uh, Bahamas, which we do need. Eastern end of Cuba, better chance of rain. Eastern end of Cuba through Jamaica, we could get a couple spots of 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. Cayman Islands were mainly dry. This here is still a big concern. Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, the dangerous uh, river crossings. Uh, things are getting very aggressive with some of the rivers that runoff has been coming down, watching out for mudslides. We could see uh, over toward the DR over 125 millimeters of additional rain in watching out for scattered areas of rain, uh, the Virgin Islands back through Puerto Rico, and of course, just had that earthquake earlier this morning north of the uh, Virgin Islands uh, that I'm monitoring for any additional quakes in that area. Uh, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, we could get a quick 25 millimeters of rain or an inch of rain. Same thing as we swing down toward St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad, not quite as much St. Lucia, Barbados, and Martin. 
Martinique and still watching out for that wet weather. Suriname and Guyana, additional flooding. That rain chance has bumped up again and watching northern Venezuela back through Colombia and still some of those higher totals, parts of Costa Rica and Panama, where we could have some spots closer to the Pacific of 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain. And then scattered about Nicaragua in uh, western sections, better chance of rain. Still not a lot. Belize back toward the Yucatan Peninsula and then watching out for some spotty showers possible as we work our way over toward Mexico City. So rain chance about 50 to 60 percent scattered showers and thunderstorms right across uh, Jamaica while we get to the uh, Cayman Islands. 20 to 30 percent chance that is it. But scattered areas of rain. We've already had some of that this morning and overnight parts of Trinidad and Tobago. And you see the rain chance in Barbados is a little bit lower than that. About a 40 percent chance today. Same thing in St. Lucia. A 40 percent chance today. A 30 percent chance uh, tomorrow. But a 60 percent chance of some of that rain in Grenada, which has already been panning out. The forecast has stayed on track. Same thing St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We've already had some rain and still that chance chance of rain as we go throughout the uh, day, at least on some of our uh, islands. Rain chance 40% today in Martinique, a 40% chance today in Dominica, and a 30% chance for tomorrow, and a 40% chance the next three days in Guadeloupe. Rain chance as we swing to the north bounces up a little bit. Scattered showers still around for us. Antigua and Barbuda, and you see the rain chance 50 to 60%. Say Kids and Nevis over toward Montserrat, scattered areas of rain the next few days, a 40% chance the next two days, and Guilla and St. Bart's and a 40% chance over the next three days, St. Martin, Saba, and Station. Now that rain chance stays elevated. Watching out for some power outages, some flooding, and some mudslides possible in Puerto Rico. Got you covered. I've been giving you the heads up on that. And even that 50 to even 60% chance, parts of the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, it's staying active. Meanwhile, the Bahamas, best chance of rain. Northern sections with that front moving by today. Turks and Caicos, about a 10 to 20% chance of a shower. Back through the Dominican Republic, watching out for the flooding and the mudslides. Again, we've been talking about this for days and days, 50 to 60% chance as well. Same thing as we work our way through uh, Haiti with that elevated chance of rain that is staying with us. Meanwhile, Belize, the rain chance stays on the low side, 20 to 30% chance in Aruba, Curacao and Bonaire, about a 20 to 30% chance of showers uh, the next couple of days. Elevated in Guyana, we're up to a 70% chance. Watching that flooding, a 70% chance as well uh, to today in Suriname and still a 60% chance tomorrow. Eastern end of Cuba, better chance of getting some spotty showers and storms. Costa Rica and Panama, a little bit more closer to the Pacific. That's where we'll see some higher rain totals. Nicaragua, we're looking at western sections, Pacific side, better chance of rain. 30% chance the next few days in Honduras, about a 50% chance Guatemala and El Salvador, and a 20% chance of a pop-up shower in Mexico City, 20 to 30% chance Merida and Campeche, 50% chance though northern Colombia, watching out for some ice isolated flooding, 40 to 50% chance in northern Venezuela. And watching that spin just to the south of Bermuda the next couple days, I'll monitor how close that does uh, get. So areas to watch for formation, watching the Western Caribbean into the Eastern Pacific, mid to late May especially. Biggest concern with that, regardless of development, will be the rain, and we're seeing that now with that potential flooding and mudslides just 28 days away to the start of the hurricane season. Have a good day ahead.